really what we're trying to do is put together like a skeleton of what the van is going to eventually be. What the heck? How did that come so fast? Are you driving today? Yeah, I'm gonna drive today. I guess you drew the long straw. <laughs> I wasn't here for that. It's so fun to be back in the van. It feels like a really long time because it's been a long week. Um, it's been very busy in the life of the Steckley family with the uh, my mom's restaurant opening. So that's actually where we're going now because there's a big like double garage there with all my dad's tools basically. So that's where we're going to be trying to do some work today. Plus then I can be around to waitress if I need to. So yeah. Every time we come and sit in the van, I, I just get a big smile. It's just fun to ride in, fun to drive. It's so exciting, like this is just so fun. I feel like I still can't even believe that we have a van and we're converting it. Like I've watched YouTube videos of this for so long and now we're the people that are actually doing it. The back is still a complete mess, but you know, ignoring that. We're in our van, we're in our tiny home. No, I don't know how much of this is gonna actually make it in, but it's a beautiful drive home. Unfortunately, no work got done on the van today except for purchasing some lumber and screws because the restaurant was just too busy and we had to work and help. So I'm hoping that eventually, in the coming weeks, things will start to settle out or at least there'll be more staff and we won't have to work in Karen's kitchen every spare moment that we have and then maybe we'll be able to work on our van conversion again. All right, weekend number four. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to work on the van again this weekend. Things are a little bit more settled in at the restaurant, so hopefully we'll be able to be really pregnant today. We have been blessed with absolutely beautiful weather this weekend. Woohoo! Let's go to the shop. <laughs> okay. Did you order a camper van? Yes, I did. Oh. All right, I'll get it out of the back. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Welcome to the workshop, aka the double garage bay that is attached to my parents' restaurant. Because for the past several months, my dad has been here doing renovations on the building to, you know, prepare to open the restaurant, all of his tools and stuff are here, like the table saw etc and it's also just like a really nice big open space for us to work on the van plus it allows me to be here in case things get busy and i need to go help in the restaurant we're loading in our lumber and today's main objective is to start doing some of the strapping or like the studs in the van and then we're going to start framing out our bench and our cabinets really what we're trying to do is put together like a skeleton of what the van is going to eventually be and um yeah i think it's gonna keep us going just to get that done so let's see how it goes <laughs> For anyone out there who's not a woodworker, let me give you some basics. This is called a 2x2. Two two. It's not 2 inches by 2 inches like you might think. We've decided to build most of our bench out of 2x2s two just to save weight. 2x2s two should be sturdy enough for most of our bench framing. At the very back of the van here, we want to have a nice big opening for storing large objects, maybe lawn chairs, stuff like that. So in order to have such a wide gap with no uprights, we need to use the sturdier lumber. If you would call strapping or studs, we just used these pine boards because we had them sitting around. They're left over from the person who we bought this van from. First trial run of our new bench. Okay. 
good stuff. Like that. I'm pretty pleased with how it's going so far. We've got this back bench already constructed. Now we're working on the two side benches. It's starting to come together and you can really see like what the end result is going to look like. So it's exciting. Once we have everything framed out, then it will be time to actually do the surface level stuff like the walls and make it look pretty. But for now, the focus is the structural stuff. first day on the van where I'm like, we're really building something. Like we, we did a lot of demolition. The windows was kind of a messy job, but that was also satisfying. But this is like, now we're starting to build the stuff that's actually gonna be a part of the van. <laughs> there's the van. Yeah, and there's kids yelping in the background. <laughs> the neighbor kids. So. I just, I'm feeling really good, really inspired. I wanna have another productive thing. Yeah. Okay, so we are heading to another workshop today for some background. My dad's cousin owns an auto shop and they're closed on the weekends, so they have tall enough garage doors that we can drive the van in, so that's where we're heading now because it's two degrees out. Actually, it doesn't feel that cold, but it's a little cold to be working outside, so we're gonna head there now. Dan's driving the van. I'm taking the car full of supplies. Well, we've made some progress on our electrical setup. This is the first time I'm really being able to talk to the camera today because there was a radio playing and it was loud and stuff like that, but now it is dead quiet and uh, I think we got some stuff done. What are you thinking, Dan? I'm thinking this is a pretty swell spot to be working on a van. I know, <laughs> if only we could stay, but there is other work that needs to get done here on van related. We just got a knock on the door a minute ago because our supplies have arrived. For a little bit of background, <laughs> this weekend um, we're just chilling at home, which is a bit of a different pace for us. The past few weekends have been all about working on the van, but we've been waiting for some of our supplies to come in the mail so that we can actually do that work. And some of it is here now. I ordered all this stuff. Yeah, I'll film you. You get to open it. You can open it. Whoa, I, I ordered this stuff yesterday. Really? Yeah. On Friday? No, on Thursday. Our Renogy order? This is the Renogy order? Yeah. No, it's not. It's in an Amazon box. I'm confused, my guy. Why would Renogy send it via Amazon? I don't get that. This is our Renogy order. Right what here. the heck? How did that come so fast? I did not expect that. What? They ship it via Amazon, I guess. But we didn't have to sign for it. From Renogy, we got four things. Two batteries, and then two types of chargers. These are the two chargers. We're still waiting on the two batteries. Okay, gotcha, that makes sense. Cause I was like, the batteries are really expensive, so we have to sign for those. But I'm surprised they ship from Amazon. This will allow us to charge batteries from like a regular wall connection, AC, like at what you'd have at a campground, that kind of thing. Or just plug into somebody's house. Yeah, from a wall connection, yeah. anything like that. And then for this, <laughs> okay, will allow us to charge our battery from the alternator of the car to get the batteries charged while we're driving. So there you go. That that came really fast. Yeah, shout out to Renogy for being quick on the draw. Yeah, holy cow. <laughs> when did I put in that order? Yeah, just yesterday, I think. Yes. Or Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday at around midnight. Yeah. Oh man. Where is Renogy based? I guess they must keep some stuff at Amazon warehouses. Cause like, Well, you can what? buy their stuff on Amazon as well. Oh, but we bought it through it the website. It came from Amazon. Huh. Don't know. Okay, whatever, it's here. That's the main thing. 
Okay, these are fuses. Circuit breakers, I guess, technically. See what this is. Oh, that's the main on-off switch, this right? Is our main power switch. Yeah. Pretty hefty guy. It actually is. Wow. I mean, it has to handle a lot of current, so yeah, better be built. Um, this is a fuse. It's our main fuse, and these are some connectors to connect to the LED strips that I bought. Cool. That's everything. Well, there's a lot more to come, but that's what we've got so far. We're back at the garage. It's like so snowy outside as you've seen so it's really nice to be indoors to work on the van today we got some work to do no kidding <laughs> Just like every piece of stud that we put in this van, hold on it. Yeah, that's solid. This is solid. It's the end of another productive day. We're gonna pack up now. We gotta leave the garage for the night. So let me give you a little tour of our progress. We've got our whole like electrical sort of system set up here. This is gonna be the main area where everything comes together. This is the DC to DC battery charger. So this allows us to charge our batteries while we're driving from the alternator of the vehicle. This is our inverter. We haven't hooked up this stuff for this yet, but this will allow us to use our batteries to power things like our laptops or anything that would normally plug into the wall in a house. These are our two main bus bars and these are all the sources coming into them. So this is our positive wire from the solar panels going there and then there's also one attached to the negative one. This is from the alternator so this is what again charges our batteries from driving connected in here. And then we've also got this wire which will eventually connect into our main shutoff switch. And then this is where all of the loads will come from. This is like the main fuse box, so the lights and the water pump, all that stuff is going to get attached here. And this is the solar panel thing I've just taped in for security. Um, but that runs through here and then is um, hooked into the solar panels on the roof. It might not look like much, it's still pretty rough, and honestly a few months ago I would not have understood at all what's going on in there, but I feel pretty good about our progress. We definitely got a lot done this weekend, and I don't know, I would say we're maybe like 40% of the way there on wiring. What would you say? You think we're like halfway done? We pretty done? much have our inputs all wired in. We'll just have to uh, wire the stuff, like the things we want to yep. um, run off of our electrical system. And of course, we're waiting on our batteries, which will go right here once they arrive. So that's another van build weekend in the books. Let's pack it on up. <laughs> 